Hey, I'm Steve with Exo Mountain Gear. Today we're going to go over our weapon carrier accessory. Uh, just like a lot of things we do at Exo, very simple, very functional, very lightweight. Weighs 2.8 ounces. You can carry your rifle with this on the right or left hand side of the pack and also hang it off the back of the pack to carry a rifle back there if you want or it acts as a cam protector so you can carry your bow. We also put a buckle here in the middle and this does quite a few things uh, when you're carrying your bow, especially on the back of the pack. You can run this strap up and over, run it through the cam and over the limb, and basically you can lock it in place. That way, you know, if you, if you have it strapped in there and you lean forward, it'll tend to kind of pull the cam out of the pocket and it would kind of fall out. This helps keep it in place. Same idea with a rifle. If you've got it mounted on the side and you don't want it to pop out at all, you can run that kind of under your sling if you have a sling on your rifle. So to attach the weapon carrier to the pack for carrying a rifle on the right or left hand side, uh, the process is the exact same, just mirrored. I'm going to take this first strap and thread it through this ladder lock that's sewn onto the frame. This is the same ladder lock that our crib uh, load panel attaches to. And to get this, you just thread it through. Drop it down through here. And I'm actually basically going to put it like where I want the butt of the rifle to sit and then to lock this in place so it doesn't slide on you you just take the piece of webbing and thread it back up and over and through. Now on the back of the bag you're going to use the same buckle down here. So I'm just going to take this and on this one you don't need to loop it back through. Basically going to set it so it's level Pull that through. It's a little bit low. So I'm going to raise that up just a touch, and that's it. So from there, all I got to do is drop the butt of my rifle in the pocket, and I'll use one of these two compression straps. Usually, I like to use the one on the frame panel, so we'll show you that right now. So I'm just going to take the butt of the rifle, drop it in the pocket, and you got this compression strap. You can just pop loose and put the rifle down. Run that over the pocket. Cinch it up, and I'm good to go. So to attach the weapon carrier to the back of the pack for A, carrying a rifle back here, or B, carrying your bow, you're basically going to use these two ladder lock buckles here. Basically going to be the exact same on the 2000, 3500, or 5500. There'll be two ladder locks right here. And again, you're just following the webbing, threading it through. And you can set the height that you want this. Um, so if I want, you know, if I'm riding it on a horse and I want this really, really high so my, my cam isn't hitting on the back of the saddle, or if I'm going through a lot of brush, I can drop that down lower so that the bow is not sticking up as high. And then you're just going to slide it through the front. And then go over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Again, set the height. That's basically it. It's just going to hang down here. You're going to drop your cam or the butt of your rifle in there. When you're not using it, you can loosen up the straps a little bit more and actually tuck it up underneath the bag in between the bag and the frame. So that way you don't have to completely take it off, but it's out of your way. And then you're just going to use these two compression straps to hold down the bow or your rifle. So I'll show you putting my bow on here. So to attach your bow, you're just going to take um, and drop the cam in this pocket here. So I'm just going to drop that in. And then I've got this top compression strap that I'll basically run up and over. Cinch that down. And then here on the bottom, I'll come back and run this strap over and around the limb. And that way it's going to prevent that cam from falling out of there. And you can also run the other compression strap over that if you like, just to make sure it's extra secure to the pack. For more information, you can visit us at exomountaingear.com.